All right. Uh, my name is Travis Lee Bailey. I'm here in Moscow. I'm joined today by uh, by Jeff Young uh, in uh, Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, Jeff, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself and tell me what's on your mind today. OK, well, I have uh, lived in Kentucky for 40 years now. Um, and I am currently a candidate for the U.S. House of Representatives in Kentucky's sixth congressional district, which includes Lexington uh, and some of eastern Kentucky. What's on my mind today is a rather important announcement made by Russian President Putin that uh, Russia is now recognizing the independence of two republics in southeastern Ukraine. They have been self-declared independent from the Ukrainian government in Kiev for the last seven years, but Russia has not recognized them as independent until today. Wow. So what what does that mean? What does that mean for uh, just just for those people that aren't aware? Um, uh, currently, uh, there is a conflict um, in Ukraine um, and the uh, the United States and NATO is um, is amassing forces um, in in Poland and also in Ukraine. And uh, and Russia is uh, doing joint exercises in Belarus and then also within their borders. So um, what else is what else is going on? Well, the situation in southeastern Ukraine is very tense. There has been an escalation in the last two days uh, of shelling by the Ukrainian government and its militias of these two uh, independent republics. And uh, I understand that there has been some counter fire of artillery from the militias uh, in the republics uh, back against the Ukrainian artillery. So there's been a, a, a sharp increase in the amount of shelling going on along the contact line, which is the border between the two republics and the rest of Ukraine, which is controlled by the government in Kiev. Okay. So in the, in the midst of this escalation of shelling, uh, there have been some casualties. And uh, a couple days ago, the leaders, the two leaders of these two republics announced an evacuation of non-combatants, children, women, the elderly, from the two republics toward the east into Russia itself. A lot of these people have Russian passports. Over the last seven years, they, uh, Russia has extended passports to uh, a lot of people in the two regions, the two areas. And so they're being bussed. A lot of people are being bussed from Donetsk and Lugansk republics into Russia for safety. Mm -hmm. They are, you know, they're civilians. They, they don't... Uh, they're not trained to fight, and they want to avoid being uh, killed. So that's going on at the same time as Ukraine looks like it might be about to launch an offensive into Donetsk and Lugansk. That is a distinct possibility. Um, they may want to, you know, they may want to see how far they can get. Their military forces uh, maybe conquer the cities 
of Donetsk and the city of Lugansk. They may want to see what they can accomplish against. There are still male uh, citizens of these two republics left behind, and they are prepared to uh, fight if Ukraine sends its military forces in. If you were in Congress right now, what would you do about Ukraine? Well, I would introduce a resolution um, uh, that would, you know, it would be an, uh, an order, a binding resolution from Congress to the Biden administration saying, uh, get all of our weapons and any advisors we have out of Ukraine and do it now. Mm -hmm. That's what I would be doing in Congress. And why would why would you want to pull those those people out? Like why what's 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 the purpose of pulling them out? They have no business there. Mm -hmm. okay. um, for many years, uh, the United States and NATO have been trying to uh, establish a military partnership with uh, with Ukraine, Kiev government, and. Uh, that is a, a red line for Russia. Russia will never allow that to occur. Never will allow. Will never allow Ukraine to to become a ma member of NATO, which is a military alliance directed against Russia and other, you know, and other countries, you know, but uh, primarily directed against Russia. And Ukraine is has a long border with Russia. And if Ukraine were ever to be admitted formally as a member of NATO, it would be a tremendous threat to the security of Russia and the Russian people. OK, well, thank you so much. Um, it's 12.03, uh, 12.13 a.m. here uh, in, uh, in Moscow, uh, February 22nd, 2022, uh, on a Tuesday. Uh, and for yourself, um, at what time is it in uh, in Eastern Standard Time? Yeah, uh, Kentucky is Eastern Standard Time. It's 4.14 p.m. here. Yeah, so 4.14 um, February 20, 21st, uh, 2022. And again, um, the announcement, uh, Jeff, the announcement that, uh, that just breaking news. Yeah, the announcement is that uh, President Putin of Russia has recognized the independence, uh, recognized for the first time the independence of the two republics in southeastern Ukraine, which is man mainly uh, ethnic Russian people and Russian speaking people, uh, Donetsk and Lugansk. He's recognized their independence from the rest of Ukraine today. Wow. Okay, and uh, if people want to get in contact with you and they want to help your campaign, how can they contact you, um, Jeff Young? Well, all my contact information is on my campaign website. Uh, it's easy to remember. It's Young for Kentucky, mm -hmm. Y-O-U-N-G, the number four, K-Y dot com. Great. Thank you so much, um, Jeff Young. Uh, 2000, 2022, uh, uh, like and subscribe and uh, have a have a peaceful night. Thanks. Good talking with you.